Donald Trump, the President of the United States, had signed a whole contract with my fucking Ice Cube and a bunch of other people. The only reason I said Ice Cube is because he's the only fucking name I remember. Yeah. But Ice Cube was with this, like, because he's a lot older. He, he's, like, he's done a lot with his um, position to, like, do good and shit in the black communities and shit. He's a really smart guy. Fucking, I mean, he did a lot of shit. He was, like, acting and shit. He's not a fucking dumbass. He, he's not just a rapper. He's a legend. <laughs> yeah, own, everyone knows Ice Cube. Space. So he had, he was working with some sort of organization that was sort of like representing the black community, where they they come up with this long list of demands for the government, and it, it had been made public. Ice Cube, like it, it, it was something anyone could look at, and it was good. It was actually good. Like it wasn't like oh we represent the black people. And it was fucking stupid. Yeah. Like no, it was actually very good, and it was things that you know were actually taken from like black communities and shit like. Uh, like things that they they want you know i don't know how they they made it so good you know whatever ice cube and them did but they did a good job and then they met with trump and he they signed it they all signed it which meant that if trump was re-elected instead of biden he would have had to do the things on there right and so that's a fact biden hadn't signed anything he was just promising all these things like any other politician does anytime they run for president so even if you didn't like Trump, you, you could have voted for him and he would have had to do those things. And what a lot of people don't know, and, and, and shout out Jadeon, because he's talked about liberal racism, which I had never even heard the term until he brought it up, but it is the perfect way to describe a lot of the shit that's happening right now. Where, where black people are being told by white people how to feel about certain things and Jadeon basically explained that as liberal racism um, there's a lot of examples I come up with I don't know if I sh should talk about a lot of them I mean one easy example is like a white woman getting offended for you know some shit that a good a good example would be like if if you have a professor at a college, right? And she, the professor is talking about things regarding race. And there's black and white students all of all race in the classroom. And a white student comes up to the professor after class and feels offended, right? For something that wasn't pointed towards that person, correct? Um... It's just an example. Yeah, no, no, just, just, just. An what are you asking? Like, like, the statement that was made that offended that person wasn't even. It, it was, it was, it was in the sense of like telling a story to teach students okay. how to understand like a certain scenario, right? And um, none of the black students had any complaints um, regarding it. And, or, or, or found it racist, but it was a white student. And it's a perfect example of lib liberal racism because what, what could eventually be found out is, um, you know, the white person trying to say, oh, this is racist, this is offensive, this is offensive. They're probably the most racist person out of all of it. And they're pointing finger it's kind of like who smelt it who dumped it you know yeah. the fart thing it's like you're trying to say oh you farted you farted well you're the problem with the fuck fart dude you're putting it on everyone else exactly. type of thing it's like you know if you are committing the crime you're gonna blame it on everyone else you can so if you're racist just put yourself in a racist mindset you're going to hide that because it's not socially acceptable right now and especially if you're young and you're going to Say that's racist, that's racist, and you're gonna point it and direct the, the, the hate crowd at everything else that's racist. And um, that's what you see all these white people doing. And not just white people, but you, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, and, and yeah, that's one of the things, I, the only reason I brought that up is because with Biden, a lot of people voted for Biden, white people, because they thought that Trump was racist. 
come to find out this is the statistically proven so you can't talk shit Trump won the black vote statistically more black people voted for Donald Trump than Joe Biden proven fact and actually it was majority black men um, which none of this should even fucking matter but it, it's just the it's the fucking we, it, you have to point it out because it's the fucking left that make everything ra racist uh yeah yeah there's multiple layers but um yeah yeah it, it's the left that make everything racist and, and call all this racist this and that and you know a lot of people don't even know or didn't realize it, it you know like Trump won the black vote it's like he he freed Kodak, um, you know what I'm saying? Nelk was fucking with him. Lil Wayne publicly supported Donald Trump. Um, Kanye, I mean, these were very smart, educated, and wealthy black people. With me being a black person, hanging out with a lot of black people growing up, these are highly looked up people in the black by, community. By so everyone, by, by everyone. everyone. Not just black. But that's why I feel like, bro, you see that and then people try, a white person try to say, oh, Trump's race. Like, if a, if a black person is saying it, this is not what I'm talking about. But it, it's, I feel like it's just not a white person's place 